you know, every time I start my uh, my stream and my day, I have to go through and turn on all my lights, right? I do this every day. It's like a little routine that I change the colors every now and then. Um, I actually just got these new lights semi-recently. I feel like it adds a little bit of um, production value to the camera. I don't know. Anyways, welcome back. We got another tutorial to go over real quick, man. I'm not here for a long tutorial. I'm just here to give you guys a really quick, simple add-on onto your OBS to allow you guys to get a little something cool that maybe you guys didn't know about. There's two things I want to show you real quick. It's very simple. Also, I missed you. I'm so sorry I've been gone for a while. I know I haven't been putting up any tutorial videos. Quick shout out. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to get into a lot of conversation about not being the tutorial thing that we're trying to show off here. So let's just get right into it. Let me show you guys something that's kind of cool that maybe you guys didn't know about. And I'm talking about custom browser docs. Now, this is kind of cool. And maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you haven't heard of it. But if you haven't, this is a cool little neat feature that you might be able to add on to your OBS while you're streaming or while you're recording. Hopefully, this gives you guys an idea on something you can try to implement into your own OBS situation. Let's, let's get into it. So here we have an instance of OBS open. And as you can already see, you got multiple things going on. You got the, the main preview window and you got a couple of uh, things down here. So each one of these is its own separate docking or dockable uh, window with inside of OBS. So if you can move these around and you can kind of put them however you choose. Now, one thing on top of this that you can do is a thing called custom browser docs. And what that allows you to do is if you come up here to the view tab and you go ahead and click on dock and you go over here and click on custom browser dock, it's going to bring up this little window here. This window will allow you to build more dockable windows on top of what you already have based on a URL somewhere on the internet that you may find of value. As a quick, simple example, I found this picture of a dog. Okay. We got a picture of a doggo, a very cute doggo. How could you resist? not looking at that dog back in back inside of obs you're going to see that i can give this thing a doc name i'm going to call this doggo over here you got the url and it's asking you to paste a url in there for whatever you want to dock into your obs so if i go ahead and copy this bad boy and close out of that and hit paste now i have a dockable window that is the dog i hit apply and boom there it is man so now i got this little dog window here and maybe i just want to leave that up on the side the cool thing about this is i can put this anywhere i want with inside of obs because of obs's new dockable windows and movable windows and whatnot so if i come over here and just mount that now i have a dog and it's it's <laughs> it's it's attached to my obs and it's going to be there for my entire stream so i get to look over and see this cute doggo. I'm I'm already liking it. I'm I'm having a good time with my good pal doggo over here staring at me while I'm streaming. And one other thing you can do is you can take this window and not only can you move it around and dock it to any side of the screen or or wherever you might choose to, but you can also dock it on top of one of the other docks. This is something I kind of just learned. If you go ahead and grab this window and you move it to another one of these dockable windows and you put it on top now you have two different tabs so if you're not utilizing a tab at let's say your scenes or your, your your sources you're not really looking at you can just leave up something else to replace it or i can just simply mount these all maybe together and now i have all my tabs of all the stuff that i want and maybe i just want to leave it up with the doggo and hide my scenes and sources however i can always just open that up and redrag this back out and maybe redrag my dog maybe over here in the uh, the old corner right where I'm uh, going live and whatnot. This has a lot of functionality and a lot of cool things that you can kind of utilize for yourself. Now, it's not really something for your stream. However, maybe there are things that you want, such as your Twitch chat. So maybe I come over here and I want to add my own Twitch chat to my OBS. So if I come over here and type in Twitch chat, we're going to call it Twitch chat, just so I remember. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my, uh, my popped out chat here. I'm going to hit apply. And now I have my chat for my uh, my stream and I, maybe I'll just mount that over there. So maybe I also want notifications on my OBS showing off what the activity is happening with inside the stream, such as follows, subs and other donations and whatnot. So we're going to call this activity feed and this is going to be all of my activity feed for my stream. And so if I come over here and I find a little window that has 
all of my recent follows and subs and whatnot. So if I take that link and I go over here and I paste it in and I hit apply, it's going to open up a window. However, I'm not logged in, so it's not going to really show it. But you can kind of get a sense that it's going to show all this activity with inside this window. And now I can move this window, place it in here. And now I'm able to see all my activity while maintaining a uh, visual on my chat, as well as my OBS itself. And then don't forget, we have the doggo. You can't forget the doggo. So hopefully that gives you guys some sort of idea that you can kind of utilize to get your OBS kind of more flashy for yourself while you're streaming. And yeah, so. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed yourself here. Quick, simple, short tutorial. Again, I apologize. I haven't been around for a while to do more videos, but hopefully soon. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Sub to my YouTube. It's free, dude. It would help me out. Maybe hit that little bell thing. I don't even know about that bell until like, you know, six months ago. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll catch you guys on Twitch. If you guys ever have questions, come by, dude. I'm, I'm live Monday through Friday for like six hours a day. So come hang out or not. Don't worry about it. I'll see you or I won't. I, leave a comment if you want. I'll say hi. I'm out of here. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, having a good day.